Hello, seventh and eighth grade band members. This is Mr. Davis here uh, for band class today. Uh, we're going to pick up where we left off. Remember, yesterday we played 42, 43, 44, and 45. So that was on page 12 and 13. So we're going to pick up on page 13 today in our red book. We're going to do 46, Jim Along Josie today, 47, Eighth Note Explorer, 48, Go Tell Bill, and then 49, Go for Excellence. So also today, after this, um, inside the Schoology, week one, second nine weeks, white folder, um, there are some performances you can click there. Just pick uh, your instrument and watch the couple videos that are in the folder. Um, it gives some performances there that you can hear their sound or even watch them. It depends on, on the player and on the musician that's there. But take a listen to those. Uh, those will help your sound if you listen to uh, YouTube videos and YouTube people that play your instrument. So pick your instrument. If you want to watch a few others, that's fine too. And then at the end, we're going to have a music theory too that you have to do for an assignment. And it'll be uh, worth 12 points as well. Um, so that's what we're going to do for today, Tuesday, November 10th, 2020. So go to page 13, number 46. Here we go with Jim Along Josie. One, two, one, two, ready, play. Don't forget that has a repeat so you can play that along with me. Or you can stop and play it after, like I said, about 15 minutes after we're done with the video. Thanks. All right, so many graders, we're going to go to 47. We'll do all the wind parts all the way to 49. And um, then you can um, fast forward through the percussion that goes after this. Percussion, like I said, you can watch all of this or fast forward and go to the percussion section so you can practice your numbers. Here we go, 47. Eighth note explorer. Eighth, uh, the eighth notes are on count four, so it's four and T T. So it's ta 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 T T. One, two, ready, play. <laughs> To 48 go tell Bill. Had 82 lines on this one. It is by Giacchino Rossini. One, two, uh, one, two, ready, play. <laughs> some going for excellence here so let's try to play that here we go 49 together one two a uh, one two ready play <laughs> Percussion, you will be next. All right, seventh and eighth grade percussion. Let's look at uh, number 46, Jim Along Z Josie, on page 13. Here we go. One, two, a uh, one, two, ready, play. Right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. Remember to use your uh, wrist only, not your whole arm, three inches, and make sure you get a uh, good rebound, three inches, and make sure it just stays, doesn't Velcro, doesn't go back. Remember, right there. Good job. All right, percussion, we're on 47, eighth note explorer. We'll make sure we get the eighth note on count four. We start with our left hand on this one, snare drums. Here we go, one, two, 47, ready, go. Left, right. Make 
sure you work on that sticking on that left there. Okay, so let's go over to 48, go tell Bill. All right, here we go, 48. Let's see if I can actually get this done. Give me one second. Okay, here we go on 48. Sorry, I had to get a percussion book because I was looking off the conductor book and it's two pages. So this is one page. Here we go, two lines. Ready, go tell Bill. One, two, get the right sticking. One, two, ready, play. Right, left. No beat on the Fermat at the end. Good job. All right, we're going to go to 49 and look at our multiple bounces along with our quarter and eighth notes. Here is number 49 on page 13, percussion. Go for excellence. Make sure you get your multiple, your single tap, and your eighth notes. Here we go. One, two, a one, two. Ready, go. Buzz, tap. Buzz, tap. Buzz, tap. Pose tap, pose tap, pose tap, pose. Okay. All right. So don't forget, like I said, to listen to uh, some of those clips, YouTube clips. There are links of people who play your instrument, musicians. Look those up. Listen to them. Uh, watch them if they're a video. All right. Here's lesson two: the clef signs. At the beginning of every staff, you will find a clef, which gives you a letter name to a definite line or space. This is a treble or G clef sign. The treble or G clef sign gives the letter name G of the second line of the staff. You can see that the curve comes around that, every good. Okay, and then this is the bass or F clef. The bass or F clef gives the letter name F to the fourth line of the staff. So now you can see that the dots go around the fourth line. So that'd be good boys do fine. Always is the top, but do good boys do fine. So that's different for bass than it is for treble. Treble is every good boy does fine. Bass is good boys do fine always. So in this music theory book you will use both treble or G clef sign or the bass or F clef sign. All right so you will draw four treble clef signs here in number one. Just look up there do your very best since you're at home. Look at uh, four bass clef signs so draw four of those make sure the dots go around the fourth line treble make sure the curve goes around the second line and then you answer three through six and you can use the top of that worksheet to figure it all out thank you and after you get done with this submit it for a grade and then you'll be done for the day this will be out at 12 points today